Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and uh, today I wanted to do, uh, do something a little different. I don't do this too often, but sometimes I come across a product that uh, I'm just really impressed with, I really like, and uh, wanted to share a little bit of information on it. This is something I bought. It's not something that was given to me. Um, this is a Doxy, DoxyGo SE Wi-Fi Edition. There's a couple different versions. This one is about $220, and this is what it looks like. It's just a little scanner. Um, basically, I recently had uh, a couple losses in the family, and I've inherited a lot of pictures, a lot of photos and documents and things that I need to scan. And this is really awesome. Uh, it's completely wireless and battery powered. You can take this anywhere. So. Uh, you know, I can take it to another home if I just need to scan a few documents. I can bring them here and like when, when I need to scan, I can just sit in front of the TV. I scan about 500 photos uh, in an evening watching a couple of programs and just, you know, scanning like crazy. And it works beautifully. Uh, I'm going to demo, uh, demo how the scanning works and how the software works. But uh, if you're looking for a portable scanner to scan a bunch of photos or documents, this is a really cool product. Okay, so this is how easy it is. Press the power button to turn it on. And you have a couple options. Green is 300 DPI, orange is 600 DPI. I've got a few photos here. A photo of my mom when she was 10. And you want to, for photos, you want to just feed them here. And it takes maybe three seconds, and you can kind of just continue feeding this. My dad with a cat when he was younger than I am now. My dad's old sailboat. Just want to demonstrate a few different sizes. And it probably takes uh, three to four seconds, depending on the size of the photo. And then. Uh, myself and the Boy Scouts, I wanted to get this one so I can show you in the software how you can kind of manipulate the photo rather than having to cut it out and scan it. You can actually scan the whole thing and then manipulate it in the software. And bigger ones will take a little bit longer. Um, this is not a great, I would say, document scanner, meaning like if you're trying to scan a whole lot of files, this may not be the way to go. There are things that are two or three times faster for, for full-size documents. The great thing about this is the portability. If I want to go to my aunt's house and scan some old photos to, you know, to, to back up, this is all I need to take with me. Let's get a little flash drive right here. I can plug this into a computer. Or using the USB drive here, I can plug the whole thing into my computer and uh, use it uh, wired to the computer. There's also some wireless functionality, though I have not really done much with it yet, as it's easy enough just to plug in for me. So next I'm going to show you how this works, actually. Um, plugged into the computer, importing the photos and manipulating those photos. Okay, so this is what the software looks like for Doxy. You can get this um, from their main website. And you notice I have a ton of photos here. They all have a green check mark because I've already imported and also um, basically turned these either into PDFs or JPEGs. Um, I've probably done, I don't know, let's see. 492 photos and I've had this thing for five days so far now I just scanned those couple of photos so what I would do is hit import first you have to turn on the doxy by holding in the power button for a second and now you see it shows here doxy import and it'll take a couple of seconds for each photo I think I did um, you know, 200 and it maybe took 15 minutes or something. Um, it's not too lengthy of amount of time. There are the four photos and a little noise to, let you know, and you can come in here and you can do a little bit of editing. It does, um, you know, try to clip pictures as well as possible, but you can come in and also edit it further. Like an example would be, would be like this. Um, so you can actually, you know, let's say I only want one of these. I can crop you know, to the one that looks best. You 
and then I've got just the image I want. And I did that with some of these where it was like this image was part of a, a bigger collage and I just cut it down to the single photo. Uh, you can come in here, you know, turn it to black and white or grayscale. Uh, you can do different brightness, you know, if, if the photo doesn't come out very well. And then when all is said and done, um, you can save these photos. So let's say I wanted to save these. I can hit save. Save them as JPEG, PDF, PDF with OCR capabilities. So if you have documents, you can also combine multiple P multiple pages of a document here, then turn them into a PDF, and then also use the OCR functionality to get clickable text on those documents. So save as a JPEG, and then I simply tell it where I want to save those. You know, to my desktop maybe. Select folder. It saves those scans. And that quickly I have those photos saved to my desktop. Uh, it's a great product. I'm really, really happy with this thing. This was $219 and it so far I've scanned, you know, nearly 500 photos. And I've got hundreds more that I'm going to be doing. And I am very, very pleased. I haven't had to rescan, I think, a single photo since I started using this thing. Um, it's 600 DPI, so that's quite clear for this size of photo. So if you're looking for a nice and portable way to scan your photos, this is a great product. I would highly recommend it. If you are going to be stationary and you're going to be blocked to a computer, there might be some, you know, more permanent um, solutions that are a little bit faster. But if you're looking for something you can take with you, maybe to a job site, maybe to family members home so you can scan photos, this is a great product for something like that. So thanks again for watching. I'll have a link for the product in the description below if you're interested. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave a message below. Thank you.